Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. A few days ago I published the first episode of the X Days Off Grid series. In that video I showed you a QSO of myself in Lapland and Mark, Mike Zero India Alpha X-Ray in the south of the UK. Now there was nothing wrong with that clip but it does require some additional context. You see, we used FT8 call to make that QSO between myself at a field station in Lapland and Mark who was operating Maritime Mobile from his boat in the UK. Now although we have lots of videos and blog posts coming out about this new mode called FT8 call, most of these creators fail to understand the importance or the utility of this mode for the weak signal portable operator in the field. So I'm hoping we can have another look at this QSO from the perspective of it being two weak signal and portable stations. All right, here we go. There's a huge difference between FT8 and FT8 call. And that difference is keyboard to keyboard chat. We don't have the free text limitations as we do in WSJTX under FT8. With FT8 call, the whole point is to take advantage of the weak signal messaging of FT8 but extend that to a slow but efficient messaging mode in the form of keyboard to keyboard chat for low power stations in the field. I decided to put FT8 call to the test by using it to send my SIT reps to operators who were following my progress in the field. Those SIT reps included weather statistics I was collecting, it included my battery levels, and it included health and welfare. Now once again our buddy Mark, Mike Zero, India Alpha X-Ray in the south of the UK lends a hand to collect this sit rep from me which he then forwards out to social media. For this sit rep I give Mark a short weather report and I tell him the condition of my batteries. Once I finish my message FT8 call will automatically send it out in the right sequence and recompile that on Mark's screen. While we're sending that out, let's take a look at the left side of the screen, which shows us all of the band activity, and the right side of the screen, which shows us all of the beacons from stations we've heard. The center of the screen is what's happening on the frequency you're actually on. As the software is still in development, I can imagine there's going to be some GUI improvements on the way. Now we're not limited to pre-formatted messages with FTA call. We can also have a what would be called a free text chat in FT8. The only difference is we can type out the whole message and send it off. We don't have the text limitation as we do in WSJTX. This means you can actually have a real QSO, keyboard to keyboard chat with an operator on the other side of the world. You can also use FT8 call to send messages to stations you can't hear through stations you can. Perhaps now you're starting to understand why I call FT8 call a utility mode. Certainly if your goal in amateur radio is to put an award on the wall, then certainly WSJTX and FT8 is a very good solution for that. However, if you actually want to send out some useful information to operators around the globe, FT8 call might be a better solution for doing just that. So in the QSO I'm having with Mark right now, we're actually simply having a nice chit chat. So let's consider for a moment what we're actually doing here. We have a less than optimal station out in the field trying to get out a bit of critical information. That station now has a utility or tool to work with which is purpose built for weak signal field communications. Now we're not going to be sending out images or large ebooks or things like that, but we can use this efficient mode to send out critical tactical information. We might also use the system for allowing a family member to simply watch our progress on an off-grid adventure. Anyway, we need tools designed for low power communications, helping us to extend the run times of our stations when we're out in the field. I would say FT8 call is purpose-built for this task. 
So we see Mark has sent the information about his station that I asked for. As you can see, FT8 Call is not limited to simply filling out lines in a logbook for your contest. It's actually useful for having a real chat. From the X Days Off Grid experiment, I would say FT8 Call is an absolute success. I had planned to send out my sit reps with Winlink, but I couldn't get it working in time on the Raspberry Pi. Now, it may not have been fair, but we threw FT8 Call into the fire. What came out at the other side was actually pretty awesome. So, the bottom line even if you don't agree, FT8 Call is a new utility mode purpose-built for that weak signal portable digital operator in the field.